I love robots. I love big robots and little robots. I love automated robots. Robots that make me coffee and robots that make cars. Robots that will do my laundry, wash, dry, and fold. Say good morning to me each day and wear a cute little maid uniform. Yeah. Okay, that robot may not happen in my lifetime, but maybe it will. There's a saying in our industry that no design ever truly starts without a design kit. Or maybe I just say that enough so that now it's an official industry saying? Huh. Well, either way, if I want to make that laundry service robot anywhere near close to a reality, I'm going to need to start with a kit. And guess what? We have one here today. Yeah, we really do. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. You wouldn't believe it, but yes, we're talking about a robotic design kit today. I sure do love my job. Mark Easley and I are digging into the TIRSLK Robotics Kit from Texas Instruments today. We're getting under the hood. We're taking it out for a spin, and we're bringing you guys with us. So, let's get started. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about the TIRSLK Robotics Kit from Texas Instruments. Hi, Mark. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, great to be here. Okay, so Mark, today we're going to be talking about the TI Robotics System Learning Kit. But before we dive into the details, a lot of my audience may not know that Texas Instruments has a robust university program. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. We've actually had a dedicated university program since the 1980s, and it's a global program. We support educators and students worldwide. You can actually connect with us online at university.ti.com. And on there, we host a whole bunch of things around teaching materials, design projects, and resources available for students, for educators, and researchers that are using TI technology. So, Mark, we've talked about the TI Launchpad Development Board here on Chalk Talk several times in the past. And this dev board is at the center of this robotic system, right? That's right. The TI Launchpad is a very flexible modular development kit, very popular with our TI microcontrollers. And it's really at the heart of the system of the TI RSLK Max. Because of its modular nature, it's really enabling us to build the robotic systems that we require to make the TI RSLK Max so powerful. Taking a closer look at the Launchpad, it's a USB programmable microcontroller board. Again, the target MCU is the MSP432, which is the brain of the operation. And from that MCU, we have a bunch of different pins that are able to interface with things like breadboard circuits, booster pack plug-in modules, and other types of circuitry. So it really provides a modular capability that can enable our robotic system. Cool. Now, Mark, can you give me some details about what's under the hood of the MSP-432 launchpad? Absolutely. The MSP-432 is selected for the TIRSLK Max because of a couple unique reasons. One is we had a lot of requests for making this kit relevant to students going into industry. So the MSP-432 is an ARM Cortex-M4 microcontroller, very popular, very well used in industry. And this is a great experience for students to add to their resume as they're going through their coursework and then eventually into their careers. Another key feature to the MSP-432 is the ability of having access to multiple pins. In robotics, we're cooking up all kinds of things like sensors, connectivity, and this requires a lot of pin access. So this particular launch pad is great because of all the pin access that's available. Not to mention it's part of the MSP432 low power microcontroller family, and anything hooked up to a battery requires low power, small scale robotics included. And that's why the MSP432 is a great choice for general purpose applications, but particularly in robotics applications. Cool. Now, Mark, can we dive in a little deeper into the microcontroller itself? What are we really looking at here? Yeah, we always get a lot of feedback because TI has an extensive portfolio of embedded processing products, a wide variety of microcontrollers, a wide variety of microprocessors. What is the proper one to select for a small-scale robot like the TIRSLK Max? The microcontroller is actually very well suited for it. Typically, these devices are single-core CPUs, they have memory inside the device, they're low power, and they provide a lot of great real-time capability as well. Access to analog, peripherals, serial peripherals, and all types of different things required in robotics that we need. So that's a great reason why these microcontrollers are perfect for things. But in cases where robotics are more advanced, sometimes you need a higher CPU performance, 
that's where other processors may come to hand. But for the TIRSLK Max, the MSP432 is the perfect fit. Cool. Now, Mark, can we talk about the pinout of this particular development board a bit? What does that look like? And does it allow for some flexibility to create different designs? Yeah, that's right. The key part of the TIRSOK Max Robotics Kit is it provides a lot of modularity for students to continue to customize their learning as they're going from very foundational classes all the way to more advanced classes. So using the Launchpad's Booster Pack Pinout Standard, we're able to have a standard way for students to interface their circuitry, whether that's breadboard circuits, the Booster Pack plug-in modules, or other custom hardware that they might want to plug into the TIRSOK Max. This makes it extremely flexible for students to add on and customize what they need to do, and build around the different capabilities of the robotics that are already put in place. We've developed a pin map for the RSLK Max that basically utilize all the onboard sensors and motors and things like that that we have hooked up, and students are able to add on additional capabilities using the different pins accessible from the microcontroller, and all that's very accessible for them. Okay, so Mark, I can definitely see how this kit could be used for a variety of different designs. What kind of applications have you guys seen? The TRSLK Max fits in a wide variety of courses in higher education, all the way from kind of the foundational, fundamental learning that we see in Introduction to Engineering, Introduction to Robotics, but it goes into more advanced courses, things like Embedded Systems, Internet of Things, Sensor Courses, and even more trending topics like Machine Learning, Controls, Mechatronics. It has a lot of flexibility to address both the kind of foundational learning all the way to more advanced learning. Super cool. Now, going beyond the classroom, Mark, I would imagine that this kind of development kit could be a gateway to a lot of really cool real-life applications. What kind of trends are you seeing in this space in particular? Yeah, we're seeing a ton of movement in automation right now. Robotic systems are everywhere. They're calling this the fourth industrial revolution with more and more technology being implemented to create applications such as autonomous vehicles, factory automation, security and safety systems. And all of these types of automated systems require multidisciplinary systems thinking, which is going to be super important for engineers studying now going into industry to implement both in current and future applications. So it's a very, very valuable area that they need to learn about through tools like the TIRSLK Max. So Mark, another huge trend here is IoT, right? What kind of applications are you seeing in this arena? Yeah, for Internet of Things, we're continuing to see this as a pervasive trend in the industry. As more and more things are getting connected, we have processors, we have connectivity and radios. That's affecting all types of things in our world. Things from autonomous driving, the electrification of transportation, industrial sensing, smart factory, and of course in our own homes with home automation and consumer electronics. So it's very important for engineers to understand how all these data streams are moving in between these systems and being able to design those effectively as they're building their own products. Cool. Now, Mark, we mentioned earlier that this is a robotic system. So what else is included other than the hardware? Yeah, the hardware is a key part of the success of the TIRSLK Max experience, but we provide an additional value for higher education, which includes a full curriculum, as well as software tools, project ideas, and of course, a bunch of training resources that are available for all our TI products. So this combination of all these factors really make it, again, industry relevant for students as they're pursuing and also provides a great resource for educators as they're implementing this hardware into their classrooms. So to that effect, we introduced the TIRSLK Max Kit, which is our solderless robotics kit. Very easy for students to build and test. And in under 50 minutes, they can basically complete this robot without any special tools. And they have a full functioning robotic system that they can then run experiments on. I love that. Mark, this is super cool. What all does the TIRSLK Max include? Yeah, the TIRSLK actually comes in a very simple set of components. We have the launchpad board, which we discussed previously, the MSP432, the brain of the operation. We have the chassis board, which is providing all the power regulation and signal transfer that's going on in the system. We have a very robust ABS plastic chassis with the included gear motors as well as the wheels. We have bump switch assemblies, which allow us to do collision detection if the robot hits a wall or obstacle. And then we also have a line sensor on the bottom, which enables line detection in common robotics projects. Cool. Okay. So Mark, say I buy this kit today. What all will I get? The kit is very comprehensive. We have in the base kits, again, all the components I described previously, as well as jumper wires, a breadboard, and other mechanical electronic components. 
These all come together to provide a really high value experience that students can do for a wide variety of experiments and learning introduction materials and foundational materials. But what's really cool about the TIRSLK Max Kit is the addition of accessories. So optional purchases that you can add on, such as the booster packs, things like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, sensors, analog distance capabilities, LEDs, LCDs, all types of different things that can be hooked onto the circuit as additional peripherals that students can increase the capabilities of their TIRSLK Max Kit and provide new opportunities for experiments and learning. Cool. Now, I can definitely see how customizable this kit could be. Mark, what kind of cool stuff have you guys seen being created with it? Already, students have done some incredible things with the TIRSLK Max. We see things around simple additions of booster packs to increase the capability. We've seen custom breadboard circuits that students are interfacing with the microcontroller to build additional experiments. And we've seen even things around new chassis development, things where they move the launch pad to a brand new robotic system, and then being able to program and transfer the knowledge they learn from the TRRSLK Max to those new systems. So it's very flexible and very customizable for all users. Another key part of the TRRSLK Max we wanted to keep at the forefront is the reusability. So many electronics kits, they're kind of one and done usage. We really wanted to have a sustainable model for the TIRSLK Max. So as you've seen before with the assembly, it's very easy to put together. And the same goes for the disassembly, allowing students and educators to have a recurring experience every time and easily repairable, easily maintainable lab sets they can use semester after semester, year over year. That's fantastic. Now, Mark, How do you imagine this kit in particular fitting into the confines of a classroom setting? The TRSLK Max really has the flexibility to be used in a wide variety of today's classrooms. We have the low-cost capability that not only makes it accessible for student-owned hardware, but also makes it scalable for departments and colleges to purchase lab sets and maintain those over time. It's really easily implemented into small classes or even large-scale classes, hundreds of students, even over a 1,000 students. And again, it fits in different course types, foundational, fundamental learning, all the way to more advanced specific topics, particularly with these days around these trend toward virtual learning, flipped classrooms, having access to a solderless kit that's able to be used by students at home, at their desk or mobile is a key part of what makes this kit a fantastic choice. I can definitely see that. Now, Mark, I would imagine this kit would be really cool for, say, robotic contests. That's right. Robotic challenges are a huge part of what makes the education experience in higher education so much fun. So students are able to engage in a competitive environment to showcase what they've learned in the course. A typical application is, of course, maze solving. Students with the base kit are able to do things like a line following challenge, wall detection challenge, or head-to-head racing. All of those are extremely fun activities for students and keeps them engaged and excited for continuing to pursue their studies. So, Mark, let's get into the programming of this kit a little bit. What does the software side of things look like? Yes, the software is another key component of the TRSLK Max experience. I'll go ahead and start with the programming piece of it. Since this is a microcontroller, uh, it's very much heavily reliant on C programming and doing lower level hardware programming. But we do have multiple entry points for students depending on their level of programming experience. So for students that are not comfortable with programming or new to programming, we have an experience that's called Energia, which is an Arduino-style programming environment. And this is very popular for getting started in embedded electronics in general. And this really gives them a nice entry point into the TIRSLK Max. For our TI curriculum, we provide a more traditional embedded C programming-style curriculum, which provides a lot of low-level hardware register programming experiences that are very foundational to many curriculums around embedded systems and microprocessors. We also have an offering called Driver Library, the MSP432 specific driver library. And this is also a C programming, but is more functional programming, which is very accessible for students. Even students with not even a strong software background, things like mechanical engineering students and things like that, have had very positive experiences with our driver library. And that really provides a great advanced programming experience but still accessible for students. And then even on the higher end of that, there's the ability to use real-time operating systems. We have a variety of operating systems, including TRRTOS, that can be implemented with the TRRSLK, as well as the Simplink SDK, which is provided to our customers of the MSP432. And then on the code editing side, we have different IDEs, but our main focus is going to be on the Code Composer Studio IDE, which is an Eclipse-based IDE, and it's the same one that we provide to many of our customers working on TI embedded processors. 
This choice we made is because we wanted, again, to make it relevant for students going into industry. So having exposure to a professional level IDE was an extremely key value proposition for the TIRSLK Max. But that said, we also offer many other options, things like our CCS Cloud, which is a cloud-based, browser-based IDE. We have the Energia IDE, which is, again, a more simplified code editor. We have IAR, which is a great compiler editor, and also the Kyle IDE, which is part of the ARM ecosystem and able to program those ARM devices. Okay, cool. So what about debugging? Can you help me out here as well? Yep, absolutely. So we know we wanted this to be a very contained kit, uh, providing a lot of free resources and tools. A key part of that is providing good debug support. So we have two tools. One is called the Texas Display which is actually a simple to use kind of oscilloscope logic analyzer style tool that can be run from a PC. And this allows them to take simple measurements directly from their RSLK kit and do those measurements in the classroom. Then we also have a GUI debug tool, which is able to plug in their robotics kit and do a hardware debug test on some of their basic motor control, their sensors. And this is really helpful, particularly for the teaching assistants to help students debug the code in the lab make sure that the hardware setup is good to go so that they can more focus their energy on helping the students with their specific problems with the lab. So those two tools are extremely helpful, along with, of course, the Free Code Composer Studio IDE, as well as the TI RSLK starter code that we provide with the TI curriculum. So you mentioned module topics earlier. What kinds do you offer for this kit? Yeah, we offer a very comprehensive learning module set in our TI curriculum. We have over 20 different learning modules, very focused on embedded systems, and some of the uh, lower level hardware aspects of the robotic system. And each of these modules is extremely comprehensive, providing full on introduction, lecture slides, lecture videos, full lab procedure, quizzing and activities. So assessment can be done as well in the classroom. These 20 different learning modules provide a great baseline for educators to very easily implement these topics into their classroom. All right. So, Mark, does TI offer any video lectures or any other supporting curriculum for this kit? Yes. So we partnered with our faculty partner, Dr. Jonathan Valvano, who teaches embedded systems at the University of Texas, Austin. And Dr. Valvano provides a full lecture video for all the learning modules, as well as a preview of the different lab exercises, excellent materials for students to review before going into the labs as well as for educators to utilize in a flipped classroom setting where recorded lectures could be utilized as homework and take advantage of the in-person class time for the hands-on portion. Okay, so Mark, earlier you mentioned mechatronics. Now, can you help me in this arena as well? Yes, actually, we're very excited. There is a new online course called Fundamentals of Mechatronics that's going to be available on the edX platform. This is an online course, free to audit, that students can engage and actually learn about all the different ins and outs of building a mechatronic system from integrating the embedded systems all the way to the mechanical topics required. This course is being taught by Dr. Jonathan Rogers at Georgia Tech, and he does a great job of explaining in an accessible way for students and hobbyists and even professionals about what it takes to build a mechatronic system. This is all on-demand content, very easy for students to access anytime. And it features the TIRSLK Max inside into the hands-on lab. So what's unique about this course is the hands-on physical hardware lab that's included. And again, the TIRSLK Max is available from Mauser. Very cool. Well, Mark, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been super cool. Yeah, love to talk about the TIRSLK Max, and we're looking forward to what students can do with it going into the future. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about the TIRSLK Robotics Kit from Texas Instruments. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.